Hey, I'm Nick Mack, an artist from London, and I recently collaborated with one of my favourite artists, David Oku, a super talented, amazing human who I've had the pleasure of working with over two days, making a mural for Wrestling Demons. An exhibition within an exhibition at Fulham Town Hall, a mad, amazing building that's being taken over completely by artists and Alex, the Wrestling Demons curator, showed me and David round. It was amazing, just seeing everything the other artists had been creating was incredible. He then showed us the West Wing, which was his space for Wrestling Demons. So what is Wrestling Demons? Wrestling Demons is the brainchild of Alex Fatho, who wanted to bring mental health awareness to the hospitality industry. And he did this by bringing a top chef, an artist and a top bartender together to create a dish, a piece of artwork and a cocktail inspired by a conversation they all had about mental health to help raise awareness. And the exhibition space was going to house all of the 16 artworks that had been made so far, but with a twist. He didn't want a boring white wall exhibition, he wanted it to be alive. And so he showed us this space and he explained how he wanted to tell a story about mental health throughout the different rooms that he had and what they would say. He then showed us the room that was going to house both mine and David's pieces and how we could do anything we wanted to in these four white walls just to bring it to life with an epic collaboration mural. So we wasted no time and went straight to the paint shop and picked out a palette we both really love working with and any extras that we might need and just so we'd have our paint ready for the next day. We both really like improvising, so allowed ourselves the freedom to make most of it up as we go. But the basic idea was that I was going to create a twisted figure of some sort that was going to represent the darkness, and David was going to draw the positivity and the joy that would be coming out of the figure, showing that no matter what you go through, there's goodness and light within. I decided to use a Posca pen just to roughly mark out what was where before it started to get lost in a sea of blue paint and even started to do some of the line work, but no, no, what is that? <laughs> so I went to the brush, <laughs> that was much better. I just found it was a lot more smoother and definitely had the flow I think I needed for such wide curves and things like that. It's so, I can't tell you how amazing it is just to be in a room with someone who is so talented, um, whose work you've admired and just to see them create and to just have fun. I think we both really enjoy the idea of a journey or the journey that painting can take you on and not really knowing where things will take you, but just going with it and trying it out and slowly but surely building the image that it was always meant to be. We did 11 hours of painting today, so it was time to pack up. The next day I came in and saw Alex, the mastermind and curator, hard at work, on the phone, making plans. He's so passionate about what he's doing and seeing him sort of plan this space and how the audience are going to interact with it, where the artwork's going to go. It's, it's really exciting. It's a huge space and he's basically doing it all himself. So it's, it's really inspiring seeing that happen just outside the room that we're doing our mural in. But here we go. Day two with Mr. Oku. 
There was just generally really positive vibes today and I think that that just comes from when things start progressing with the art and you can really start to see what's being created and it's it's really motivating because it's becoming more alive with each mark that you make. We also started to fuse the two sides together today, the bad and the good. Bad being the more twisted figure that I was focusing on and the good being that positivity that David was creating. This piece shows a figure that's struggling and their limbs are all wrapped up around them, almost in knots, trapping themselves. They're in a dark situation, but their mind has been opened and they're in that moment of discovering all the good and the color that's inside them regardless of the dark situation they find themselves in and that's the message we want to make which is that there is light inside and you need only trust that you will find it. Whoops, a little bit of a paint spill, but it's all right. We can make something out of it. That's the best thing actually about working with paint. You, you just, you make mistakes, but you have to work with them because you can't erase them. You can't press undo. So you just kind of go with it and you end up creating something that you, you weren't planning to. So embracing the mistakes with paint is just, is the main thing I think I learned with, with working on this mural and, and working it with paint in general. We got to a point where we were both really happy with how it was coming along um, because we could really clearly see it now, what it was going to be. And that is just, it's the best sort of point to be at because then you're just kind of adding those final touches to it. There were some stripes here and I felt that a poem could fit there. So I took a few minutes to finish up what I was doing and go and sit in a quiet spot and write something up that I think would tie the mural together and what we what we were trying to express. We were going to call the mural Open Mind, so I had the words Open Mind in my head first to sort of bounce off of. And so it goes, Open Mind, searching for answers others can't find. Listen to your heart for it's fast to remind that to love yourself, you must first be kind. We added some of the final touches, the last minute little tweaks and little little bits here and there, um, but it was uh, pretty much done. It was another long day. This was 12 hours, but it was done. We cleaned up, we got everything out of there, and then we had some fun. making a mess to further express I think you know creativity and being able to be open and you know what's what's more of an open mind than than celebrating spilling some milk and 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 turning it into something else it was just such a pleasure such a joy just such a great experience to work with someone who you are inspired by. Thanks so, so much for watching. Thanks for making it this far. Thanks for supporting me. Thanks for subscribing if you have, or do subscribe if you want to see more, more videos like this or see more sort of stories about different artworks that I'm making. And I'll see you on the next one. <laughs>